just yeah, if it's not filling up with fluids, that's that one another. Coming out and getting related. So remember wiping as you um yep, very good. Wipe that into yep, very good. Just wipe that into the skin. And then once the she gets that positive different um there all the boosters are made by different companies. I think the ones that we're using oh, are by certain, the image. By image. Um which we use at the aesthetic institute. Oh, um, really good for texture. Oh, that's what that's all about. And also, oh, I'm glad, oh, oh, listen, we were just talking about this this morning. Because Jackie, because Jackie is lighter skinned, um, she's not going to have a problem with the black copy. She's right. not going to hyperpigment dark the same way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I it's like a feather. Yeah. A little bit lighter. Yeah, very good. Um, the thing is, with the glycol prep, if you do have a darker skin client, you can use that, but it's not, again, be sparing with it. That's not something that you're going to want to use, you know what I'm saying, like every single time if you're a darker skin client. Really, if they have like textual issues or textual concerns, that's when that would be your friend. But again, remember I said, pay attention to the cascade effect. Oh, is this, uh, yes, this client has textured skin, but they also like a very prone to hyperpigmentation. So maybe let me avoid this glycolic figure out a different combination of ingredients that we can use to address this texture. If you do find yourself having to use the glycol cup on a darker skin client, keep it in minimal contact, but also advise that client, listen, every single day for the next minimal week after this, you gotta upload, like, you gotta double up on your SPF. Mm -hmm. Because again, that glycolic acid penetrating that skin, and then it going out to the sun and having that sun exposure, you should really be using SPF every day, yeah. but especially after your advanced treatments and stuff like that, it's going to be, it, it, it makes it really intense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see how she's just feathering that, just real light, it's just a real light touch? Yeah. The glycol trap. Testing it, testing it your hand. It was 20 or 22? It started at 22, right? Yeah. I would say try to start at 20. I don't think it's that. It's not bad. It's not bad? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. But keep in mind also, once you get to the beta hydrox, what is beta hydrox? What is it? It's salicylic. What is the purpose of this? This is now to start clearing out any blemishes and stuff like that. Yeah, this is extracting. Yeah, so you want you want the vacuum to be high enough that it's extracting the skin, but not so much that it causes damage. Now keep in mind, um, Ms. Jackie will be red after this after this treatment. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if you notice, it just looks like regular, normal redness. It does not look like actual erythema is being induced. Like right. so it's redness, but it doesn't look um, her skin doesn't look swollen or inflamed, it just looks red. So there's uh, erythema, but no edema. Red is, but no inflammation. And actually, no shade. It looks like that red is going away pretty quickly, too, like yeah. even past each pass. Down there, her chin, it's not as red. Yeah, it's not as red anymore. But y'all see how every time she changes direction, she's making sure that that tip is facing the proper direction so that as she's pulling, you know, it's... Oh, she's over. Oh, she's in my new side. Oh, I love that. What is it? Oh, did we have a toggle? Oh, yeah, of course we did. Um, so yeah, so the toggle is off now. So the machine tells you where what step you need to do it next. So now that last bottle is called rinse away. So what that does is halfway through the session, the machine cleans itself. Oh, oh, oh yeah. cut that out, cut that out. Remember yeah. the tip. Uh, when you cleanse the skin with another gentle cleanser, I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually like this method better. I don't know who told, who told you this, Ms. Giovanni, you or did. did we just, huh? You did. You I did. The other day when we were doing it. Oh, oh my God, okay. <laughs> You have a blue tip, you have an orange tip, 
Purple. Clear tip, and you have a teal tip. And they got purple. And purple, yes, so it's five tips. Okay. But they all have different levels of exfoliation. The clear is not really exfoliating at all. This is more for like um, putting product onto the skin and penetrating it into the skin. Okay. So although they all still offer some level of exfoliation, the clear, I think, is one of like the lightest ones. That's really for product penetration. So the machine tells you which one to switch to okay. um, based on what treatment you use and based on what solution you use it down there. But also one thing that y'all need to remember though, which I'm so glad, Ms. Giamani is so good at this, making sure that you turn each toggle off down to the bottom when you do it, because otherwise, um, if the machine was still on, once you hit run, it doesn't really know what's there and what's attached. Mm -hmm. And so, and then you got the eyelids on top of it, and think, look at how bright that light is. Yeah. That's, you know, so, so, and again, the only reason I stress it, the only reason I stress all of these things that I'm stressing is because I've seen these things happen before. Mm -hmm. Do not put your client under LED without eye protection. Do not do it. Thank you. So after we come back from lunch, we still have some more stuff we need to finish up, but we're going to go through the protocol. I'll maybe just briefly run through the protocol so you can hear the words associated with it. But we'll breeze through that really quickly since y'all already got a beautiful opportunity to use your mind to perform the service. Then we'll go to the next leg of hydrofacial training. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. What are you using right now? A little bit of FDS. Oh, okay. I didn't want you to say nothing. Oh. Good. I'm not sending her off here with that. It was a little bit. This is a little bit. A little bit. You are all done. You look beautiful. Wow, this is the stuff, y'all. That is the stuff. Wow. The seventh, oh, that's next Friday. Yeah. for the master's aesthetics program at T-Spa. I was so excited and I had to record everything. This is the first day we did hydrofacials. I'm showing you the products that we are using at our school. Circadia products. I'm taking out the Blueberry spray, toner, lipid, vitamin veil cleanser. So many different products that we have gotten. I'm showing you the brush now. I'm just so happy, you know, so grateful for this opportunity to be there. You know, I really manifested being at T Spa, being the salon professionals academy in washington dc i really truly did and the fact that i just graduated from aveda not too long ago two months ago now i'm just really proud of myself how much i've come and here i go i'm still showing you more products as well but this is to say like don't give up you know you gotta keep going no matter what and you got this. But I'm going to let the music play. Thank y'all so much for your support and love and patience. I've been so busy. And I really thank everyone for this. For this love. Thank y'all.
right here i'm showing you the dermaplaning kit that we received as well if you want to get dermaplaning holla at your girl joy my name is joy if you haven't watched any of my videos please like and subscribe to my channel and please give me feedback and any more videos if you want to see please let me know in the comments i would love to share my journey with you guys with no problem i just my life is so busy like it's really busy but it's okay and here are the products that i received in my kit i loved it thank you t-spa and thank you all of my instructors mr ian miss tanya and thank you i'm so blessed to have great spa a spa sisters especially ria thank you so much for being there supporting me through this journey i really love you and i wish the best for everyone with me in this journey and i will see you guys next time in another video bye